Let the games begin. Fight me then! I am Layla, Princess of Andros! Let's go! Yahoo! Mamma mia! I'm Sonic! Sonic the Hedgehog! What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? They can enjoy their little party all they want, but I am gonna win this competition! If you know who I am, then you're aware I never come empty handed yeah, well, listen, lady. I got so many problems, I, I don't even know where to begin. Give me those eyes, big eyes, big eyes. Give me big anime eyes. Goddess wings. Auto reticle. Explosive flame. Reflect. <laughs> this little girl is wasting her time. Well, look at that. You might just survive this. Daybreak always brings new hope. And if you have long hair, more tangles. Huh. It's been a while since I took a field challenge. Hello and welcome to the Season 11 Meet the Queens. I am your host, Season 10's Miss Congeniality, Scooby-Doo. It's an honor to host such a moment in a queen's drag race journey, their lives has changed already, and good luck to all of them in this competition. Queens, the challenges are tough and the competition is tougher so no pressure, just don't get yourself disqualified unlike some haha. -ha. We have 13 amazing drag queens coming up, and let's get started shall we? Welcome to Season 11, she is Aisha. How are you doing? I know there's a lot of pressure on you this season, because your sister Musa is on that judging panel and she did have the best track record and PPE of all time, until Chief Wiggum on All Stars 4. Do you think you can deliver such a performance and what can we expect from you on this season? Well thank you Scooby-Doo, it's crazy being here and to even be speaking to such a legend like yourself. I do feel a lot of pressure on my shoulders with Musa being on the panel, but let me tell you this. My sister Musa is one of the most professional queens ever, and I know we had a little incident on All Stars with a certain queen calling favoritism, and I know for a fact, that will not happen with me. I will show these queens what I can do, I'll let my talent do the talking, and there is a lot of it. I can sing, I can dance, I can definitely lip sync, I am a lip sync assassin, and any queen who is in the bottom with me, you better say your goodbyes that's all I'm saying. But I am excited to be here on season 11, it's been a long time coming, I've been auditioning since season 9 after Musa's win and now being on season 11, I can't wait to show you and RuPaul, what I am going to bring to the competition. Please welcome to season 11, one of Nintendo's legends, he is Mario. Welcome to Drag Race, now Mario you've done it all, why all of a sudden Drag Race? What will you bring to the competition that the judges haven't already seen? Thank you Scooby, from one legend to another, why drag race? Well it's simple, it's the Olympics of drag, and I'm no stranger to the Olympics and this is the gold I am aiming to win. As you know I've been doing drag for a good while now and I bring heart, determination and versatility. I'm a jack of all trades, I can act, I can dance, I can split, dip, shablam, I can do it all. Expect to see some high-octane performances, amazing choreography. Unlike my sisters who have come before me, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy and Yoshi, I aim to be the star here. I have the talent to back it up and I look forward to competing alongside these queens here on Season 11. Welcome to Season 11, another drag legend among us, he is Sonic. Welcome to Drag Race, now what are you going to bring to Drag Race, and I'm sure you're aware that Mario is also here, how are you going to manage being in the same room together? And is there any bad blood? Thank you Scooby, and congratulations on winning Miss Congeniality, you deserved it. Yes I am aware that Mario is here, and I think the producers are shady. But no, there is no bad blood between us, I respect Mario, and I hope he respects me. We both have a history of competing alongside each other and looks like Drag Race is another stop on our tour together haha, but I'll be the one who will come out on top. Wow, where do I begin, I will bring you energy, lots of it. 
I'm a excellent choreographer, I can dance, I am as they say, a lip sync assassin, I'm a stunt queen, I can do a little comedy. Design will probably be my struggle point so please no first challenge being a design. I know the fans have been waiting for me, I cannot, and will not let them down. Welcome to season 11, she is Ariel. Ariel you make history tonight being the first ever Disney princess on Drag Race, how do you feel about that? We know you got a voice of an angel is there anything else you're gonna bring to season 11? Thank you Scooby, it's an honor to be here, and an honor to be the first ever Disney princess on Drag Race, it's taken how many seasons? I know we have had a lot of iconic villains like Ursula, who was on season 7, but she turned out to be such a kind and loving queen, a Miss Congeniality in fact. But me, I'll be aiming for that crown not a Miss Congeniality. As you know I can sing, I cannot wait for the rusical, I will devour that challenge. I will bring you elegance, beauty, and a voice to die for. I may be sweet, but I am determined to prove I have what it takes to be Cartoon's next Drag Race superstar. Welcome to Season 11, she is Courtney. How are you doing? What can we expect from Courtney this season, and do you plan on making the finale, like the rest of your total drama sisters? They've all made the finale, Heather, Lashana, Gwen, do you think you have what it takes? Hi Scooby-Doo, I'm great thank you, and I want to correct you about one thing. Not all of my total drama sisters made it to the finale. Hey Lindsay, love you sister. But back to me, back to Courtney. What will I bring to season 11? Well you know me, I'm pretty outspoken, I will call out a queen when needed. I wouldn't classify myself as the season villain but I won't take no shit from these queens. I am ready for any of the group challenges, and I will be a fantastic group leader. I have the confidence and determination to not only reach the finale, but secure that crown for me and only me. I can't wait for these challenges, I hope we get some acting, maybe even a talent show, I know I'll do amazing in that because, I'm talented, now clock that, T. Is it cold in here? Please welcome to season 11, she is Emma Frost. Now Emma, I'm hearing from production that you've been trying to get on the show since season 3? Am I correct? You look stunning by the way, are we going to expect amazing runways? And what will you bring to the competition? Thank you Scooby-Doo, yes the rumors are true I have been auditioning since season 3, and I finally made it here on season 11. But you know I'm not the first X-Men queen to have made it here. My sister Storm was on season 7, and she missed out on the finale, but that won't be me this season, I plan on making it to the end and wearing that crown. And thank you for the compliment about my outfit, I will be bringing pure luxury and high fashion looks this season. I'm looking forward to the design-based challenges, I can sew, which was Storm's downfall. My downfall might be a comedy challenge, but I am hoping just like All Stars 4, there won't be many comedy-based challenges, and if there are, I'll make up for it with my gorgeous outfits. The world is not ready for Emma Frost and neither are these queens. Welcome to Season 11, Mo Sislak. Now Mo, what a surprise seeing you in the cast, I am very glad that you're here actually, I look forward to see what you can do at Drag Race. I'm hearing from production that you host drag shows at your tavern? Tell me what can you bring to season 11? Thank you Scooby, honestly I was just as shocked as everyone when I got that call, I must have impressed RuPaul enough in my audition tape. And yes whilst doing drag, I also host shows at my tavern in Springfield, and unlike Eddie from last season, I actually pay my queens for their performance, I do think now he's paying them up front, I don't know I don't keep up with him to be honest. I know the viewers and the queens will underestimate me, but I will be the dark horse of this competition. Yes my drag is cheap, but it's effective, I'll make it work I always do. Overall, I'm a comedy queen, I'll make RuPaul laugh, and I'm here for a good time and for the exposure, come to Moe's Tavern if you're ever in Springfield. I think it's about time Springfield got another crown, if the Simpson dynasty can not do it, then it's Moe's time. Did this set just get an upgrade? Please welcome to season 11, Fender Pinwheeler. Fender, you are hilarious, I've been to a Fender show, and the queens are not ready for such a comedy queen like yourself. 
but please do tell the audience what they can expect from you here on season 11. Thank you Scoob, you seen my shows? That's amazing thank you for coming, now you got a free meet and greet haha. It's time to shake, rattle, and roll I'm here to grease up the competition and leave these queens and RuPaul laughing. I'm gonna bring you comedy, charm, and unpredictable energy, not Spongebob All-Stars 4 crazy energy, milk and cookies anyone? No? I'm so excited for this, other than comedy, I do celebrity impersonation. I'm a Britney Spears impersonator, yes I am the Derek Barry of the season, but better. So bring on the snatch game, bring on the comedy challenges, bring on the acting, bring out RuPaul, bring me the pit crew, I am so ready to slay this competition. Wow, how stunning, please welcome to season 11, she is Paulutina. Welcome queen, how are you? You are gorgeous by the way, very regal, are we going to expect outfits like this on the runway? You give me very fashionista vibe, what else can we expect from you in the competition? Oh thank you so much. It's all custom made. And no it's not a Edna mode one of a kind haha. But you will be seeing a lot of amazing outfits from me this season, I have the money to spend on these looks. What can you expect other than beauty? Well I don't really sew and I don't think I'm a comedy queen but I find myself funny. I can stomp a runway and serve up some looks that the judges haven't seen before. I'm an Instagram queen I haven't had many live performances but when I have been booked, I do turn it out and give the audience a show. I consider myself a lip sync assassin so I think these queens will be shaking in their not so gorgeous shoes, they can borrow a pair of mine haha. Experiment Sickening is here, please welcome to season 11. East Jumba. How are you? And how is Pleakley doing I bet she's missing you already. Tell us Jumba, what will you be bringing to season 11? Oh thank you Scooby for that warm welcome. I am doing amazing now I'm here on season 11 and my wife, Pleakley sends her love to you RuPaul. I miss her already. I have some big shoes to fill considering she's a winner. She snatched the season 3 crown, but I am ready to snatch this one. What will I bring to the table? I'm a designer. I created all of Pleakley's runways when she was on season 3 and I have also created all of mine. I'm also a comedy queen. I can crack a joke, I can act. I can do pretty much anything except maybe a dance challenge, I have two left feet when it comes to dancing. But I want to become the first big girl to win this competition, well bigger girl, we had queen of hearts on season 6. I am ready for whatever comes my way and meet all my new sisters and send them all home one by one. Welcome to season 11, she is Carmilla Carmine. Carmilla our very first has been hotel queen that's incredible, how are you, you look absolutely gorgeous, tell us Carmilla, what will you bring to season 11? Thank you Scooby Doo, I do look incredible, I am so thrilled to be here, I've been sending my audition tape since season 6, but season 11 will do. I will be bringing you gothic glamour, darkness, and seduction. Seeing a queen like Thorn win a season of drag race, gives queens like myself a fighting chance. I've seen bitches on Twitter saying to ban so-called spooky drag, but girl we are not going anywhere. I'm not afraid of playing the villain role, if it gets me closer to that crown I'll happily shred a bitch if they deserve it, and seeing some of them, well let's say they deserved it. I'm a theater queen, I can sing, I can dance, I can act, I will bring you high glamour. They say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, lucky for you, I'm here to bring it. Please welcome to season 11, the breathtaking. Azura, welcome queen. You make history for being the first Fire Emblem queen to walk through these doors, and I say it's about time. Azura, please tell the viewers what we can expect from you, I know we will be seeing some glamour on the runway. Wow, Scooby Doo just said my name, that's amazing, I was rooting for you on season 10, and yes, I do make history being the first Fire Emblem queen to walk through the doors of Cartoon Drag Race, and I am honored. Scooby, what I will be bringing to season 11, is elegance, poise, and a little magic. I'm a singer, but also I'm a performer I put on a show and captivate the audience and I will captivate the judges and RuPaul with my grace and power. I will turn out a lip sync, I can act, I can dance, I can do a lot of things, maybe not comedy, but I'll worry about that when the time comes. 
I'm the songstress who weaves into reality, and I plan on singing my way to the crown. And our final queen of season 11, please welcome drag royalty, she is Cynthia. Now Cynthia, some may argue you're the Sasha Colby among the Pokemon queens, do you agree? And what can we expect from yourself in this competition? Thank you Scooby, I wouldn't say I'm the Sasha Colby among the Pokemon queens because I can't stand it when a queen compares themselves to Sasha Colby. I'm the Cynthia among the Pokemon queens. And all of the Pokemon queens know who I am, I'm the very first winner of the Miss Pokemon pageant. And not only am I the first Miss Pokemon winner, I'm the first Miss Cartoon Continental winner. Basically I'm big competition around here, but I am a humble queen and I think every queen on this season has a chance at winning. But I will be a challenge, I'm here to conquer and claim a title I don't have. I wanna be the first queen to win Miss Pokemon, Miss Cartoon Continental and a Drag Race crown. Expect high fashion, amazing lip syncs if I do land in the bottom, I can act, I can improv, I can do it all. I may be a champion, but in this competition, I'm just getting started. Well there we have it. 13 new queens will battle it out in the Olympics of drag here on Cartoon Drag Race Season 11. I have been your host of this Meet the Queens, Scooby-Doo. And please like the video, comment who you want to win season 11 and subscribe so you don't miss out on another amazing season. Now let the games begin. Hey squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.